yeah, taking that job. Don't don't cut too far in here. Like, somebody was doing that yesterday. Was you know actually doing a little separation. That'll just it won't look very good on your presentation when you do your states up. And when you take your chine off, take a little bit more on the wing end and a little less as you come down here. And you have to actually kind of turn it a little to pull it across to to do this properly. So let's take her over to the saw. Cutting off a section of this that's an inch and a half thick on every loin is an incredible amount of money. This is to square it off. That's all that's, that is. It gets rid of some of that gluteus medius muscle. It's really tough as well. And it allows you to cut your loin nice and square all the way down. Notice I was flipping every state except the first one all the way through, turning them, as I was cutting them because of the natural slope of the tender one. So that when I trim them, I'm trimming them according to the, to the slope. Thank you. Our spec is to take off a little edge of the Gristle line on the back of your strip line. Any 
again, sequencing of jobs is going to help you a lot in terms of your, your speed. Cut all your stakes first, then trim them all. Don't do one job at a time. It's like don't do the full one stake at a time. Do one job at a time. Right now you're just worrying about the trimming. Yeah. I kind of pre-trimmed my loin a little bit. I took out some of the goop on the tenderloin and stuff, if you remember. Then I did all my saw work. Thank you. Video replay. Things that you did and all the bad things kind of as you go along. Yeah, that would be a good way to. Yeah, I'm just yeah. asking how to from milestone say video tape is doing public speaking. Yeah. And they hear people burn after from saying Tom. Yeah. It's so funny when they say don't do that, but if you watch TV, all yeah. people that are being like on national television, they're like, um, oh, oh, um, and not then, <laughs> and then they go, and then, oh, that drove me nuts. I was like, stop saying um and pausing for like two minutes. <laughs> the exception to the rule in terms of slope is your first stake, right? There's always an exception to the rule. So your first quarter isn't going to look as nice on that side as it is on that side. It's as simple as that. So I don't worry about the slope of the timber line on the first quarter. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, T-bones on 2S trays, unless they're really too big for the 2S tray, then put them on 20S trays. But the porter's definitely on the 20S tray. Okay. Yeah, that's what Actually, in, um, is in the dictionary. Did you just search them? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um. <laughs> Did you just search them? Yeah. <laughs> Rock music, yeah. Where's the culinary rock stars and you better have rock music to this ACDC on next one. Yeah. Those are both to rock. See that's that's a big corner though, so that would have to go on. On that side. You better cut me sorry. So on and so forth. Squeeze them onto a 2S 